This is from Kathy. Dear Sheila, thanks for taking our questions. I've been to three Women of Faith conferences and always seem to be touched by your message in personal ways. I come from a very dysfunctional family and for the first time I'm starting to realize it's not because of something I've done. I'm 44 years old right now and I'm trying to accept that I'm worthy of love even when I don't do everything right. Gosh, Kathy, I think as a woman that's something that I find very easy to understand. Most of us have had things in our childhood that have left a mark. But I think to get to 44 and suddenly begin to realize it's not your fault, I'm glad, I salute that, that you were able to recognize that it's not your fault. But still those old tapes play in our heads, don't they? And we hear the same messages over and over. When Christian was a little boy, I used to say to him every night before he went to sleep, which boy does mommy love? And he'd put his little face in his hand and he'd say, this boy. You know, Kathy, I would encourage you to maybe even just for a month, every day, every morning when you get up and you see your reflection in the mirror, say to yourself, which girl does Jesus love? This girl. And when you go to bed at night, and just because what you're saying to yourself is the absolute truth and trying to replace the old lies with new truth. As you are right now, Kathy, with everything that's true about you, the things you like and the things you don't like, God loves you perfectly. You've never lived an unloved moment in your life. So I encourage you just to begin to remind yourself of that and know that, um, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And although some terrible things have happened to you in your past, they've made you the person you are. And I believe you will be stronger and more compassionate because of what you've seen God do in your own life. So God bless you, Kathy.